Hello, it's Cynthia again, um, recording my journey with um, breast cancer, stage zero. I find I'm already forgetting some details of why I decided to uh, have both boobies removed. Um, and I'm catching myself now referring to them as breasts. It's like now I'm, I'm comfortable with that term more so than boobies. So I think the reality of everything, I'm feeling comfortable with it, I guess you can say. I'm comfortable with now. I can just refer to them what they are. Um, I still cannot remember why radiation or chemotherapy weren't options. I, I'm sure I was told something or... But I can't remember. See, already I, I forgot. I don't know why uh, radiation or chemotherapy uh, was an option. Or not a viable option, put it that way. Um, but when I went to the breast surgeon for the first time, and she told me that her recommendation was to have the left breast removed, that's when I I just lost it in tears. Thank God my friend Gloria Banks was uh, with me in the office there because um, I guess the reality that wait a minute I was supposed to just have radiation and go on about my business you know, and 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 people whether we want to accept it or not um, losing a, a breast is very emotional I mean it's been a part of of me you know for the longest <laughs> it served me well for 40 it will be 44 years you know that when they were, uh, the blueprint was formed when I was yet in my mother's womb. And um, to see, to not have them, it, they're, they're very, there's a very intimate part of a woman's body. And I thought, well, so much for nursing a child, you know, yeah, I can nurse on the right side, but um, it still was difficult to accept. But even after a second opinion, that's the way I went that it would go. The right breast, on the other hand, it does not have cancer, but it does have about 30 cysts and a big, painful, benign uh, uh, fibroid. And also with me having uh, obsessive compulsive disorder, I like things to have symmetry. So instead of having breast reconstruction on the left and leaving the right as is, it, it just, they won't look right, you know, they won't look right. Uh, anyway, so um, to also lessen the risk of having the breast, the right breast develop cancer, I decided to have them both removed. One thing that I knew I would not be able to handle, and I'll try to say this without crying, but I knew I wouldn't be able to handle not having any breast at all just the thought of looking in the mirror and seeing nothing there, just flatness. I, I, I know that's something that I wouldn't be able to handle. Even if I wore a prosthetic, yeah, nobody else would know, but I would know. Um, but that's uh, the reason I uh, not only decided for the mastectomy, but also for uh, um, the plastic surgery. Um, and and uh, one more thing, the and I'll go into this another time about my wonderful doctors in Philadelphia. I have top of the line. But um, one of the things that possibly could have been done uh, by my surgeon here in, in Harrisburg or the one in Philadelphia was the, the location of these cancer cells. Even now I'm at stage zero, nothing spread. It's the location of the cancers. Some are deep within the breast, some are on the outskirts, and by the time they try to reach in and take the, the big clusters and then try to reach around and get all the other ones, I would look like a California raisin, okay? Da, 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 da. You know, I'd look like a California raisin. So that too was an option, but um, again, I decided it's, it's just l let it go. Um, but I want to be sure I, I I didn't forget that. So. Okay. All righty. See ya another time.
and thank God I'll have bigger boobies this time in October. Bye-bye. <laughs>